Hello, hello to all the amazing people, the Nirma here with some more Tainted Grail Conquest. Before I spoil what we are doing, well, you might want to check out the full playthrough of this in the playlist in the comments or the description. Well, and if you're still here, that means you probably want to see the newest episode or you maybe already watched everything else. So welcome, welcome, sit back, relax and enjoy. We are in the middle of, of our Pathfinder run. So far, we have a clean streak. That means we didn't lose anything yet. We didn't die. We didn't die in this game yet, and that feels pretty good. But we came very close to dying a couple of times, and well, <laughs> we somehow managed to like avoid it narrowly. Anyway, we are now ready. Oh, I remember what we're doing, right? So we are ready to take down the crumbling manier, but I would also like to get some tallow still. So I did uh, explore this third axe location fully here. But yeah, uh, we got, we had a, uh, what does it call it? We had a uh, rune, which gave us a lot of uh, weird candles in this one. So I was actually able to rack up quite a bit of the, of the candles here, way more than we actually needed. So we're just running around now uh, to get the, the meta currency, Talo here. There we go, to Talo. So every time the, the candle goes through over one of these thresholds here, we're going to get some and yeah. A tiny bit grindy, Monatic super bad, we can do it really, really fast. So yeah, uh, the Pathfinder class here, very defensive, focus class, you uh, you build up damage over time. As long as you don't get damaged, you get plus 50% damage on your next turn, it's cumulative and it stacks. Uh, that's pretty much very similar, isn't it? And yeah, you get to the point where you start hitting for a lot of damage. I also go grab some really good, like... Um, some really good attacking cards which uh, help this even further we have 120 hp we have a pretty nice thin and slick deck and well but i don't think we're gonna be able to do like any kind of retarded damage against the boss oh by the way we also have the blacksmith with us now so i wonder how the next run will look without the blacksmith and its runes so that will be pretty pretty interesting so yeah we are on the quest to help the small child and his mother the blacksmith will help us to retrieve the, the rune that the child um, uh, swallowed. And yeah, hopefully that is successful. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I assume until we actually run into the child, we are basically doomed here to have the this blacksmith fellow follow us around. Which yeah, which means we cannot like interact with it in the village. And that's... That's a little bit uh, scary. Too bad we cannot interact with him here. Like, I would like to grab some meta upgrades. But we can't. So, yeah. There are a couple more candles here to burn through. Maybe I'll not do every single one. It's not like a huge deal here. <laughs> and, yeah. But it gives me a choice. It gives me some time to also talk about what was happening, right? So yeah, the fight that almost killed me, I don't really remember what it was actually. Oh yeah, I had a lot of problems with fights which have like three or four enemies. And um, yeah, because there it's very hard to like dodge all the attacks. And if I can dodge all the attacks, then, then I'm actually very, very, very susceptible. Anyhow, that's gonna be enough for now. Let's save up a candle for the actual fight, right? Cool, let's go back to the village and we're gonna be fighting the Minir here. But first we're gonna talk with our people. Let's uh, start with a candle maker. Good to see you. Ah, good to see you too. Need a candle or two. Need a candle or two? No, thank you. Give him the fire sample. Oh yeah, we did the quest for that. So the archer that failed his people, kind of, failed to protect them from the spreading disease. The flame purifies all. This will do. Yes. Now, give me some time. Yeah, no problem. The dude. candle maker disappears into the room you're forbidden from entering. <laughs> you wait patiently. Hours pass, and then he finally returns with a sad look on his face. You failed! So, I have two answers for you. Good <laughs> and bad. That's fun. Which one would you like to hear first? Tell me the bad news. His condition is in no way useful for our village. It's just another case of things being twisted by the weirdness. That's all. How about the good news? I know how to save your friend. And it's not that complicated. The sad truth here is that your friend was a soldier and a coward in life. This means that he wasn't cursed for his crimes. 
It means that he wants to be punished for them. He wants to be purified, absolved, connected to the fire. Oh. This is his own chosen punishment. So he just get needs it? to will it away? Mm, yes, I get it. I'm not stupid. See, it's all in his head. Yes. He can get up as soon as he really wants to. When he forgives himself. It's as simple as that. And yet, it's yeah, not that it's simple not, at all. It's not. Conscience is a terrible, terrible thing. And also, the most wonderful thing in the world, I guess. Um, it's hard to run away from it. Anyhow, we're gonna tell him the news. Not sure how he's gonna take it. So we have 94 tallow now. Not enough to increase one of these two. But uh, almost there. Almost there. We could uh, buff the milestones, but I'm not really impressed by milestones that much. So we're going to wait with that. And yeah, it's going to be it for this dude. Thank you very much. And let's go. Yes, I'm training 40 hours a day. Ready. Yeah, 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 I am, I am. Oh, I've seen a man wearing the coat of arms you mentioned. Quest Semper Fi. You tell him about the man you encountered during your travels in the weirdness. You mentioned that he's collecting stones to build his kingdom while still wearing the coat of arms of Lord Warwick. How is it possible that so many good people die, but the scum always survive? Observational bias? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that the man you met isn't actually a man, but a true example of a human monster. It seems that his mind was twisted beyond recognition by the weirdness. Okay. You see, Lord Warwick had a son, and I refused to train him because I saw how he treated the other soldiers. He was a cruel, unapologetic, and vicious brat. He was full of delusions of grandeur. He imagined himself as the Lord Commander of Arthur's armies and whatnot. He kept saying that he'd rule over his father's kingdom, or he'd burn it to the ground and create a new one, a better one. Seeing as how everything around us has gone to hell, what would you say about a little favor? Sure. It will be messy, but I'd really like to see this bastard erased from existence forever. Ooh. Are you up for it? Well, I guess I am. <laughs> I couldn't say yes or no, so I guess I am. Deck management. Uh, I, I don't need another card here. We cannot remove any extra cards until we collect 400 shards. That's gonna take a while. Shreds, not shorts. Right, duplicate a card. Right, right, right. Well, I guess for now you're just for the quest. And here's the blacksmith. He used to be here. He refuses to deal with us right now. He's like, dude, come on. We're back in the village. Come on, can you give me a couple of runes? I guess not. Okay be that way the lost soul healing and upgrades you have two healing potions really no need to buy more all uh, right thank you very much and let's see the scientists we could buy some nice items here maybe mm, yeah they remain the same we could restock i guess but I feel like there's really no reason to do so. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I have most of the stuff still locked, so I'm not expecting to get a very high score on this thing anyway. So it's like this is just like a nice chill epilogue here. Oh, we still lack one house. Look at this thing there. Like that looks a bit scary. Hello there. What can I do for you? Talk, nothing. Upgrade my abilities. Increase your max HP. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Mm, let's do... Increase max HP by 10. That seems pretty good. Upgrades. Remove curses. No. Get a random passive skill. Unlock. Huh. Hum, 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 hum. Nah, let's go with um, start each run, uh, increase max HP by 10 and start with 5 armor. Increase Wheatstone gain, 
Increase your belt gain. You know what? I don't know. Experience gain is kind of cool, but I always end up on level 20 anyway. So why would I do that? Let's go wealth gain, I guess. There we go. Thank you very much. Uh, and we are back at the uh. candle maker. So that's going to be it. We go for the boss. Go for the boss. And let's try to do re reasonably well here. Let's see. Rune stones. In the first turn of combat, gain plus 75 armor. Right. Reduce armor for all enemies by 17%. I know what we're gonna do. We will... Ah, that's so scary, though. I don't think there's any point in that. If we want to, like, increase our damage a little bit, we could take this. Every turn, increase everyone's damage by 17%, but... I really don't feel like it. Uh, reduce armor for all enemies by 17. Armor slot increase max HP by 50, okay. Gain 100% damage this turn for every inflected stun. In armor slot, stun a random enemy every four turns. <clears throat> okay. In weapon slot, in the first turn of combat, draw two additional cards with cost reduced by one. Yeah, I don't think we need that. In the first turn of combat, yeah, I don't think we need that. Maybe just increase the base damage. Do we have any way to increase, to reduce the armor of enemies? We have like stuns and stuff, I guess. Deck. Mm. So only if we play this one two times, right? It all depends like how much will this enemy increase its armor and stuff. If we can... If we can, like... But we're gonna have, like, 10 turns, right? To do our thing, and that's it. Gain 75% armor. Can we do something better? Like, something that actually helps us out with damage? I guess we could do this. Every two turns, all enemies deal minimum damage. Okay. Gain 10 barrier. I guess that's cute. But let's go for damage here. Maximum damage. So the, the objective is to survive and I'm slotting for maximum damage here. That's just how I do, I guess. That's just how I roll. Is this armor for enemies by 17? I think that's fine. Okay. Uh, items, items, right? Items. Acid bomb, uh, reduce armor for enemies by 50 for two turns. Yeah, with this, I don't think we need the rune. Yeah, okay. So let's grab the extra damage then. Oh, we only have one Polish Gar. Oh. Every two turns, you always deal maximum damage. Let's go for that then. Okay. Items, right, items, items, items. Will we take the healing items? No, let's take that and that. That reduce the target's armor by 100 for two turns. Increase the damage by 100 for two. That's not that great, is it? Yeah, we grow damage anyway, so. There's not much else we can grab here, though. No. We could grab the healing potions. I forgot to use that. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Right, let's go. The real boss. Summon the true boss. Requires three Weirdstone hearts in your inventory. Burn the hearts of the guardians. The goat would be proud of us here. So here it is. Damage dealt zero. Wrath of the Unknown. The fight will automatically end after 50 turns. Survive. This thing starts with 50 until end of combat. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So I guess I want to use this so we can stun it with the thing. I also want to fill this up to full if I can. Um, well, I could stun it, I guess. For zero. And then play insight into refreshing breeze. I'm not planning to, like, do damage increase in the next encounter. Nice. 
by 20%. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, because Stunning Shout will let me like strip some of its armor away, right? I mean, I could do Insight into Stun, but that will cost two. I'm worried if I do that, I will not be able to build this up to full. And then we don't get a strong first turn. Although, do we want to do a strong first turn? Eh. That's a good question. What are, what's our aim here anyway? To do as much damage as possible. I don't know, to strip its armor, I guess. This enemy has two forms, Corporal and Spectral. The longer he remains in one form, the stronger he becomes. In Corporal form, his damage is increased every turn. In Spectral form, he can summon minions to his side. When stunned, he inserts useless cards into your deck. Right. Let's stun it. So, Insight... So let's see, if I play that... I mean, I don't even have enough cards in my hand right now to pull it off. But let's say if I play that, that's gonna be up to 8, right? No, nah, no, I have to do a Refreshing Breeze, otherwise I'm not gonna have enough. I don't think so, anyway. Wait, okay. Calm Breeze. I mean, that's cool, but it might land on wrong cards. If it lands on wrong cards, then we are in trouble. So, I'll probably just block it up here. I should have taken those things which let me draw cards. I'm still not gonna have enough to play everything, right? Yeah, I just don't... Wait... Yeah, I didn't draw my uh, second Refreshing Breeze. I guess without the Calm Breeze in hand at the start, it was just not meant to be. Which is alright, I guess. When does he like, switch his phases, though? I forgot. I'll play this. So we're basically just one card off here. Ah, so close. It was something else. Yeah. Do I lose my bonus if I play this? I don't think so, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, he gets one fifty armor per turn, so not much I can do here. So unless you get like a really good first turn, it's just not enough. So now we can't even get it down to low enough. Well, we can, I guess, to do a double stun, but still, I guess we can. Yeah. Does it stack? Yeah, it does. But I should probably like do this like before I'm going in for like maximum damage when I get wrecked up. So uh, I don't think this was even worth it, but okay, okay. So if I can do like insight and then double stun stun stun. That might be worth it, actually. So if I play Insight into Double Stun here... Yeah, we could, like, keep positive then, right? Yeah, actually we can.
Yeah, that's 25. And now if, you, if I get stunning shout... Oh, here's the problem, though. We got discards. Oh. Yeah. That's kind of a big problem. I probably want to use this when this one, this thing is maxed. So if I play Stunning Shot here to remove 25 more armor. Yeah. Like, I'm really missing some better way to, like, shred his armor. But, like, this is, like... This is like stopping me so much. So if I stun it here again, then I have three of these to play. I mean, I still kind of want to do it to try to keep his armor low, but then we are just like, just breaking even, right? Not even getting anywhere. I mean, that's a lot of damage though. Like, do I get anything for doing much damage? Now, this is just for the leaderboard, uh, as far as I understand. So he's gonna go to minus 50 now, basically. So we just somewhat kept it at bay. So, like... Before he gets like a million armor again, we should do like the turn in which we do as much damage as we can. Now I have the insight and calm breeze. No, we said I want to use the calm breeze first, right? Yeah, I think so. But yeah, but now we can't even yeah, now we can't even do the the insight plus the double stun, right? So it's like I'm not even going to be able to do much there. So which turn will be the turn where we can do the maximum damage? We might be it might be this turn or the next one actually, when we just use everything else we have here, get him below 100 again. And just try to do as much as we can. Question is though, will I have enough like energy? Like will I be able to fill it up? That's the thing. Increase by 100. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It might be this turn then. But I'm just like, uh, only 220 extra. We could use Consecrated Oil, I guess. So we have one more Onslaught here, which it would be really good if we actually pulled it. And last resort as well. But we're playing cards. You're playing cards. Yeah, that's a sentence, I guess. Yeah, I think next turn. Also, where are the candles? Do we actually gain candles here? Maybe I should have used all the all the candles before. Hmm. Ah, it's just silly what we're doing right now. I mean, we just need to survive for 15 turns and that's it. And it should be too should should be relatively easy to do with this uh, with this character. Mm. Yeah, I need some way to stop him from gaining fifty armor per turn. That's insane. Right, uh, so, yeah, I guess not this turn. Let's try to do the maximum damage next turn. Do I want to play this? Ugh. One energy less next turn. That sounds pretty bad, actually.
Okay. And now he goes up to 150. Weirdness Breach. Force the folder over to switch between corporal and spectral forms. In corporal form, the damage is increased every turn. In spectral form, he can summon minions to see his side. Does him having minions help me in any way, shape, or form? Maybe he drops the armor if he switch forms? Yeah, I don't know. So what are we even doing here? Uh, not sure why I played that. Should have played one of these maybe. Doesn't really matter, does it? Problem is, either way, we will not be able to do it this turn, which sucks. Unless we draw now? No. So next turn, I guess. That's pretty bad. Because now his armor is going to be high. Yeah, it's going to be like 50. Now it's going to be zero. Okay. If everything stacks together, which I'm not even sure it does, but okay. Um, oh, I do have decent damage. So I can do target block here. There we go. Draw a whole bunch of cards here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 cards total. Okay, I can play this. I have 6 mana though. I mean, this is good, right? That's always good. Okay. There's no reason not to play my blocks and stuff. Not sure about that. Well, I wanna play it, right? Yeah, definitely. With insight. Yeah, that's scary, but maybe. I kind of wanted to play stun with my insight, but it's here. I will probably not draw it. I mean, I can use attacks. Yeah, let's just go for it. Probably not a hoarder. Achievement unlocked. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Oh yeah, I should use this. There you go. So I could use insight and stun. And then play both. No. What's better? Insight and stun to reduce his armor by 25. Or insight last resort. Let's do insight last resort. That seems better. Okay, not too bad. That's pretty good. Nine hundred eighty damage. This is the wrong turn. <laughs> that one rune I have doesn't do anything. Oh boy. Right. Well. Okay. Oh. There we go. I guess this is the best I can do on the current level of strength. I'm not gonna play anything else here. I'm okay with him staying in this uh, form. Right, up to 50 again. Oh, it's still decreased by 200. Right. Oh. Well. That's interesting. Oh, damn it. We are like short here. So basically I have to click this now. And we only get one energy back. He swings four times and we only block one hit right now. That's bad. I forgot about that. I was looking at my energy. I should have been looking at my energy. So now we have no choice but to click it. And that's sooner than I wanted. Oh, I still got two back that's okay um 
So if I do instant into double block, I'm fine. But the next round will be significantly worse. Than I was hoping for. Okay. So we get a natural block. Yep, we can block all the hits here. And we start here with two. Okay. Yeah, but like... I'm never gonna get a chance again to like do any kind of crazy, crazy shenanigans here. That's about it. All the other damage we do is gonna be on 75% armor. Although my, my damage over time goes up, so we might still be able to do some damage. We'll see. Uh, let's do the blocks. Uh, maybe inside double block. Okay. Draw the cards. There you go. Deep breath. Block. Calm breeze. Sure. There we go. Yeah. Let's just do what we can here. Uh, do we play the last resort? Lose one energy next round. I did do the double block, right? Still a bit scary. So I guess my deck could have been way better. Like, maybe a couple more of these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, always, right? Yeah, he has 350 armor now. Okay. Problem with this is that I I risk losing all my bonus each time I do it. It doesn't feel really good. But that improves my my onslaughts quite a bit, so I don't know. Let's do it. Get some nice extra damage in. There we go. I can play these attacks because why not? Got one more card here, stunning show. That doesn't do anything though. Should we stun it? I don't think so. Although we can play the damn card, but I guess we just do the damage here because why not? Well, actually, playing the stun here makes sense because we get closer to the next uh, next circle. And it's not like I really need 10 HP. Okay, he only swings for twice here. That's interesting. Okay, is this too risky? No, it's not. There we go. Okay. Ba -da -ba -ba. So I played insight now. Mm. What do I want to do? Double block? Sure. Do that, do that. I could have done deep breath actually, that might have been better. Okay, there's the last resort. Sure. We have double block again, so it should be safe enough, I'm gonna say. Mm, can we play another block? Yeah, sure, why not? Onslaught, let's go. We broke 5k, that's nice. For my fourth run, not too shabby. Okay. Well, same deal like last time, although I'm not going to be able to do it. Yeah, we'll be a little bit short here, I think, now. Okay. I can play inst... 
Sight. And double deep breath. There we go. Yeah, that card is played twice. But you don't actually gain gain this thing two times. Yeah, that was throwing me off a little bit actually. Just throwing me off. Okay. Well, we're gonna survive the fight, that's for sure, though. So we can put another victory on uh, on our uh, belt here. Okay. So what do we wanna do? Like double block? Actually, deep breaths better. Okay. Let's do the calming breeze. There we go. Do we play stun? I think we can pull it off, right? Yeah. So I have the deep breath or the last resort. Okay, we can play this one. We can play this one. We can play that one. I guess technically we can also play this, but that doesn't do anything for us actually. I can play this, I can play that. Okay. Okay, one of these costs one. So if I play Insight into Last Resort, the other one we're gonna play with Refreshing Breeze. It's probably fine though, actually. Oh, do I wanna play Last Resort twice here? Ooh. I mean, sure. Yeah, nice. 300. Not too bad. And there's the deep breath, which we need oh so much. Okay, so we're gonna have like one energy next round. I think I wanna play Onslaught here. There we go. 6k. Nice. Nice, nice. And now we just need to play one card to gain the energy, so that's good. So we're actually gaining like more than 12 energy per turn here, I would say. Yeah, the way I'm playing it now, we are gaining more than 12 energy per turn. That's very intriguing. Uh, what do I want to do here? Deep breath, probably. Not sure about the last resort here. I mean, yeah, why not? It's only once. If I could survive the playing it twice, I can survive playing it once, right? Sure. Uh, anything else I want to play before we pop off? Uh, that maybe. That. Okay. That. Sure. It draws me a card maybe though, right? Let's play the onslaught here. Freshing breeze. Target block. Freshing breeze. Yeah, this time we have way less though. Block, double block, still in there. If I play this, I get a useless card, but I get a, a charge. But we have like two mana next round. We can probably pull it off with two mana, right? You ain't that bad, dude. I should try out if I put it in the other form. No, he's just building up. This is like an ideal class to, to like go against it. So I think we play this first. And now I can insight into something free. Although... Let's play that, let's play that, let's draw the cards, there, okay, what do I want to insight here, I don't know, play this thing, okay, play that, 
Play that. Play double that. Mm. Three more turns. Yeah, I don't know if I don't want to play double that. Let's play some more cards and let's see what happens. Oof. We are running out of energy very fast though. Yeah, I think we need to calm down here a little bit. Next turn we're not going to be able to fill it up, I don't think so. It's getting harder and harder to fill it up. Well, I have a lot of... Very cheap cards though. What's in here? Deep Breath and Freshing Breeze. Yeah, it would be really good to draw some of those, <laughs> actually. Okay. Um. I think we'll actually be fine. Will we be fine? I don't know. So it depends what we draw with inside here, right? I want deep breath though. Okay, no, 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 no. Let's not do stupid stuff. Let's not do stupid stuff. Let's draw the rest of the cards here. There we go. Oh yeah, we cannot. Yeah, we can. We can. We can do this. Refreshing breeze. Then inside into deep breath. There we go. There. That's fine. Cool. 7k. Can we get 10k? I don't think we can get 10k. The time's running out. Time's running out. Ooh. Okay, let's play the cards which are free and don't reduce my damage. 770%. I guess 15 turns time 15. We will do way more damage if he had that rune. Yeah, we should have used that rune. That increases our damage per turn by 17%. There's reason, no reason why not to against this boss. I was just not remembering this boss, so I was not sure if you know if I should do it or not. But now in hindsight, I should have been doing it. Okay, so this doesn't actually land on many cards right now. Yeah, it doesn't. I'll play this. I'll play that. I'll play this. There we go. Now I'm gonna land this thing. And there, now we can play everything else, I believe. Uh, we play inside on deep breath. We play double block. And block, and another block. And do we have any more blocks? No. Okay, onslaught. Yeah, these onslaughts are starting to really pack a punch, though. What did I play? Oh, I don't know. Do we play Blood Frenzy? I mean, I don't need that 8 HP. But then, I think next turn, i rather have more stuff here. So I'll play stun and play this thing instead. And that thing apparently. Up to 9, okay. Is this the last turn? Not sure. It might be. Uh, right. So now this does land on a whole bunch of stuff. Problem is... I don't think there's a problem. Yeah, there's no problem. Okay. This only reduces my damage by a tiny bit. There we go. That, that, that. Um, I don't know if this is last turn. I feel like playing insight into last resort though. We might die next turn though, if that is not his last turn. Would be a shame to die like that. This would do a little bit more damage. Well, decently more damage, actually. Problem is, I didn't really play the deep red or the double block. 
But we will play those, right? Yeah, we'll play those. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Nothing can go wrong here. There we go. Take that, dude. And that. 8.7k. Okay, now we have one energy. And that's it. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Not too bad. Not too bad. Depend. Like... I enjoyed that. Trying to figure out how to do the most damage. I think it was good using the items early though. Because like after some point, I really needed more stun causing abilities, right? But then if I had more stun causing abilities, then I would not really be able to like play all the cards you get when you stun. So yeah, you need... For this enemy, you really need some way to shred armor. And I was just skipping those cards. That was my mistake. So next time we play Pathfinder, we should take cards with shred armor. So we can get to minus 500 on him. So this will be really low. Rewards unlocked. These cards are passives. Will be available over the course of your runs. Cosmetic items are to reward wardrobe. Accessible via the seamstress. More options. Whenever you draw an additional card, increase your damage by 10% until the end of turn. Okay. Gain plus 5% damage for each card in your hand. Okay, interesting, but I don't think that's really good. All right, new armor. Okay. Yeah, no new more classes to unlock, so we're just going to get cosmetic items now instead of uh, new classes. Power of Weird. Offer 10% of your max HP. Draw two cards. Their cost is reduced by one this turn. This card is just broken, dude. I like this card a lot. It's really, really powerful. And if you have lost, it's not really a problem to offer your HP. Ooh, more of this kind of cards, please. <laughs> Finishing blow. Deal one hit for 150% damage. Upgrade. For every enemy killed by this card, increase its damage by 200% until the end of combat. Oh, too bad it's only until the end of the combat, dude. Yeah. That's a nice card. One for 150 base and then with this upgrade thing. You can plan some things around that. I'll probably not take it though. Executioner Strike. Deal one hit for 175% damage. If damage is tripled if the enemy is stunned. Oh, well, no, that's interesting. That's interesting. At the start of each turn, draw one additional card. That's very powerful. Yep. After losing focus, draw two cards. Their cost is reduced by one this turn. Oh, okay, so this is this helps with like fights we are weak in. Still, you never want to lose focus, but hey, it might happen. Okay, another cosmetic. All right, all right. Hot iron, deal one hit for 400% damage, offer 10 HP. I like the other card better. <laughs> this is always 10 HP though, not the percent. Interesting. That's a lot of damage though, 400%. Jeez. Shield Slam. Deal one hit for 50% damage to all enemies. Stun all enemies. Offer 30 armor for the next two turns. Now that's a card. That's a card. I like this card. I don't care about armor very often, so... And it's only for two turns, so... I didn't get hit many times in this playthrough, so... Fresh Meat. Deal one hit for 120% damage. Upgrade. For every enemy killed by this card, permanently increase your max HP by 2. Oh, that's the card. That's that's what we like to see. That's amazing. So you can grind it out, dude. Like, you can try. You can try to always kill with this card. Yeah, I think I'm capable of doing that. Oh, I want to see this card. I want to play with it. There is a lot of enemies in the game. You could easily get over 200 and 300 HP maybe even. Ooh, that's that's exciting. Overprotection. Draw one additional card for each unused block. What? What? <laughs> oh my god. That's insane. That's that's a remarkable card. I really like it. Did you, do you know how much unused block we had in the last fight? 
we will be able to draw everything and do whatever we like. Ooh, that's so nice, dude. I love it. Residuum. Whenever you're focused, whenever you're focused, reduce the energy cost of the first stance you play this turn by one. Uh, that's also really good. That's also really powerful. That's amazing. Cool. Another. Right. True boss lane, your best. 8.718. Leaderboard place. 5163. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. We saved a soul from corruption. Nice. Villagers recruited 6 out of 7. There's a lot of people who were able to go infinite with a Pathfinder. 12 people were able to go infinite with a Pathfinder. There's quite a few people who got it like close-ish, but not quite there. And look at us. 8,718 8, points. 5k. We would have to scroll for quite a bit here. Can we like... No, we can't. 400,000. Look at how close these people are. Oh my god. Right. Well, uh, that's gonna be it for this one. Uh, actually, wait. Uh, yeah. That's gonna be it for this one. You can check stuff out, but I'm not gonna. You can stay here forever or go deeper into weirdness to explore. It means to be always go deeper there's no no, no taking a break mm. um i wonder what happens when you click that i don't want to click it right so what are we going to be playing next time so we were unlocking so we unlocked and played the summoner then we uh played and we unlocked the pathfinder and the sentinel at the same time so i think now we play one of here i think we played the blood mage and then the Zealot, and then the Berserker, and then the Necromancer, and then finally the Apostate. Right, so we're gonna be playing the Blood Mage next time. Let's check it out. We're gonna play a difficulty 5. So we keep raising the difficulty each time. So this time we have Cruel Enemies and Deadly Bosses. Sounds fun, doesn't it? This might be our first loss because uh, Summoners are tricky to play. Blood Mage, Faction Moon Ring, Ultimate Ability. Blood Mages charge their ultimate ability whenever they offer their blood. They can immediately overcharge a minion. The unique effect strength is multiplied by the number of charges they spent. Start every combat with a summoned golem. Golem protects its allies by redirecting enemy hits towards itself. Start every combat with a summoned abomination. Abomination attacks all enemies on the battlefield. Start every combat with a summoned worm. Worm attacks random enemies to reduce their armor. Well, I think the summoned golem was the best in the last summoner we did. A buddy of mine told me though that this one is played completely differently than the, the other summoners. So... I'm not sure what to expect, but yeah. So we went a long way from the difficulty one, basic fights, basic enemies, basic bosses, all the way to hard fights, cruel enemies and deadly bosses. But yeah, join me in the next episode to see how we do with the blood mage here. Like the name though. Um, and yeah, these minions do look differently, so we'll see. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode, even though it was a little bit anticlimactic. Um, if you did, then throw a like, that would be much appreciated. Also, maybe check out some of my other stuff I do. If you find it worthwhile, maybe you want to subscribe, that would be amazing. Have a wonderful day, do something nice, be kind to each other, and let's make the world a better place. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. The Neomer signing out. Bye-bye.